bitch on me, son. She got like it on me, son. Push it on a pussy like a button. Grind more time, fake time, and bust it. Beautiful people, my name is Courtney J, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a new month, it is officially August, so happy August. Do not mind the noise, it's always going to be the event. It is currently 11.30 on the dot, and I actually woke up a little bit later than I intended to. Um, I wanted to wake up earlier because I had the intention of wanting to basically um, take my sister out to lunch for her birthday, which is tomorrow. I have to go to the nail salon first, and that's already going to take, you know, like an hour and a half, and then having to drive out to where she wants to go, that's going to take another like 40 minutes. And then I have to film today. It's just a lot going on. Um, she says she might not be here, like landing and settled in until 2 o'clock. So um, I don't know how everything's going to go, to be honest. But I am going to take you guys along with me today. For the month of August, we have new affirmations. Everything follows me with ease. I am in my own world within a world of other worlds. I rest as the observer and prioritize silence. I easily attract sponsors, opportunities, and infinite amounts of money into my life. I'm happy with my life and the people in it. So if any of those affirmations resonate with you, add it to your list for this month. And don't forget that everything is always accessible to you. Nothing is ever off limits. You are the pedestal. You are the spotlight. Never forget that. And I've been practicing silence more often. Like, I realize that when you're so used to chaos, try to create it when really there's no need for it. It's okay to not have anything to say. It's okay to have an answer to everything. It's okay to just be. It's okay to not follow other people's energy or see something as a negative when your true self knows that you're still taken care of and provided for either way. So that's really what I'm just resting in as right now on my journey. So if that resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. I'm about to do my journaling eat breakfast and get ready so that I can try to do everything. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned to more videos from your favorite YouTuber. And also much appreciation to you guys. I finally got to 2,000 family members. So let's welcome all the new members in the club. Um, I'm really proud of myself. Consistency has paid off. And I really do appreciate all of you guys that have stayed to watch me. And I'm also welcoming the new people that have watched me just haven't subscribed yet. I know that if I would have stayed consistent last year, I most likely would have like probably like 10,000 something subscribers by now. Probably like more than that. So I do want to say that in the midst of me being inconsistent, a lot of you guys stayed 10 toes down. And I really love and appreciate that so much. Like you guys are just allowing me to just be. And that's the point of casually me. Okay, so now it's time to pick out an outfit while I make sure that I don't flash you guys. Say hi to the family puppy. Say hi, Papa. She says hi. Mm, he's a baby. This is my orange Aaron purse that I'm wearing today. So what I'm thinking, what can go with this, especially because I have to go on set today, so black is preferred or just neutral colors. And the denim tops that we absolutely love that I don't really like wear like that. I bought
bought these at Rainbow, by the way, when I lived in Charlotte. My wedges, and we have gold. But what do you think? The winner is going to be the one in the middle. Yep, and it's going to go with this, and then it's going to go with my wedges. Perfectly fine. It's perfect. It's perfect. You know why it's perfect? Because I made it perfect, and this is going to look really cute on me. And I still think it'll go with my purse because the gold on my shoes, the gold design on my shoes matches the charm on my purse where the Jimmy Choo logos are. It's like so subtle gold, orange to bring out a pop of color, and then a very cute, simple outfit, but insinuating our body because the leggings showcase our body really well, and then the top showcases our breast in a very favorable way. It is almost two o'clock, way behind the original plan, which is perfectly fine. So basically, my sister landed like an hour ago. I finished eating around an hour ago. Also, quick um, note, I love Noxzema now. My mom and my sister used to use this and I used to like, despise it because of the smell when I was younger like I used to not like the smell but my cousin uses Noxzema so I was like let me use Noxzema because I wanted a really good like facial cleanser you know and how I normally do I go by off of how I feel at night time I'll leave it on for like 30 minutes to an hour during the day I'll put it on before I get in the shower if I remember to put it on before I get in the shower or I'll put it on after I get out the shower and I just leave it on my skin while well, leave it on my face while I moisturize the rest of my body. Because we have changes to the schedule, I'm going to end up seeing my sister when I get done filming. So if it's like a six hour shoot, then I'll be done around midnight. And that's not bad. My sister's born day is at midnight, August 4th, same as... Trey Songs, I believe his birthday is August 4th. I know that Barack Obama person, his birthday is August 4th as well. I like to know who like people's celebrity um, birthday twins are. Like mine is Kanye and I'm gonna always say that because <laughs> I understand that man completely. I ate breakfast outside today and it felt really nice outside, like really, really, really good. Now is laser time. I've been telling myself since I was like earlier in high school that I desire laser hair removal. I've done the waxing. Like I started waxing when I was a junior in high school. That's when I had my first sugar wax. And waxing was cool, but it didn't do anything drastic for me as far as like stopping ingrown hairs and dark spots from forming from the ingrowns or whatever and you know hyperpigmentation is a thing and then I noticed too that you consistently have to wax so for me it's like whenever the hair is almost like I can't just shave it I have to wait till my next wax appointment you know so I think that it'll just be beneficial for me to just go ahead and do laser because all the money that we put into waxing or like hair removal creams or whatever like currently I use V I've used Nair before Nair is fine but Nair burnt my armpits so I was like mm -mm. and the only reason why I burnt my armpits is because I had eczema under my armpit and I forgot the eczema was there so it just burned really bad I think I vlogged that actually I don't know but if I did and you remember then yeah so V is fine but I'm just ready for a permanent solution now so I'm done having ingrowns and dark spots and tings in my reality I'm ready to receive new in my reality so laser hair removal it, it is and it's interesting too because the place I found next door to the nail salon I go to they also have body contouring they do facials teeth whitening they do the whole shebang so I'm gonna see how well they'll do with you know melanated people because I don't know if they have a lot of melanated people I'm just taking my time getting ready you guys ever have those moments where you just take your time getting ready like what rush for what you know and also give an updated skincare routine 
I like to spray myself with any like perfume. You can use a designer perfume or just a regular smell gift perfume that you like that you bought at any like store. So like I told you guys in the other vlog, I picked up these perfumes from Walmart. Find your happy place. Lazy weekend. So I'm going to spray that all over my body. I also like to spray that spray in my shower or I'll use my Dr. Till's aromatherapy sprays that I showed you guys in the previous vlog as well. And what that basically does, I forgot that I saw a video about it like a, over a year ago, but you basically just spray it as your shower is running and it smells really good in the shower. What I'm going to moisturize my body with, sometimes I use my shea butter, but I also love to use body oils. So this is the rose hip body oil that I bought from Marshalls like two or so months ago. Almost ran out, so I decided to make my oil mixture, which I haven't made in a long time. So what's already in here is rose hip oil and avocado, so I added olive oil, I added lemon essential oil, and jasmine essential oil to this mixture. And you can look up online the benefits of it. I used to use olive oil all the time back in 2019 and 2020 when I used to make my own concoctions of everything. I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up having like a body oil line for the True Aura as well as um, fragrance lines, which is most definitely happening. So if you stay and you're here from the beginning and we quote today when I said that I have a fragrance body oil line and it's gonna be one of the biggest because I always smell good people love how I smell and scents are just my kryptonite you heard it first time check 2.14 and now I'm all moisturized smells so good I can smell the lemon and the jasmine in the mix with the olive oil and the rose hip and avocado. So now we're just gonna wash the Naxima off. I got this sponge from Marshalls by the way. If you guys remember that video where I showed you guys my Marshalls haul. I threw away that other sponge thing that came with it though because I didn't feel like it was like doing anything on my face honestly. I love the way Naxima just makes my skin like feel all clean. And the one that I have is the Classic Clean Original made with eucalyptus. And you can use it every day. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly safe. It doesn't break out my face. I feel like it just brightens my face even more. And I don't really have skin problems. I've never had acne or anything. Just, you know, regular breakouts because, you know, I'm a woman. So, but other than that, hasn't done anything to my face, it just feels so amazing and extra clean. And then after you cleanse your face, you want to put a toner on your face right after. So besides using my sister's toner that she makes, which is with green tea, I believe avocado oil. I know this is my sister's mask, but something has avocado oil in it. I think her facial scrub does too. I use Heritage Store Rose Water Toner. They changed their packaging. So if you remember, their packaging did not look like this. It was a bit smaller. Or it just had like the little spray bottle ting. And it was like blue or something. It just looked totally different. At first when I saw this online, I'm like, is this the same one? Like, is this the right rose water toner? There's a store that I go to. And they have just pure rose water, and I love using that as well. Rose water is a really, really, really good toner. I got put onto it two years ago when I had started my business. It's freaking amazing. After I do that, I like to clean my lashes. And my cousin, she um, put me onto this product. It's called Eye of Gianni. It says eyelash extensions on it. I don't wear lashes. I just use it on my regular lashes and it works perfectly fine. Nor does it burn your eyes. At first I thought it was gonna burn my eyes, but it doesn't burn. It's not an uncomfortable feeling. Oh geez, I can't see. And my cousin gave me this eyelash brush. I'm trying to see if I can like see what I'm doing. So yeah, 
This is just how I clean my lashes. Besides my dimples, my other favorite feature about myself are my eyelashes. I just started doing two. I put castor oil on my eyelashes. I used to not do it. I usually just put like my shea butter on my eyelashes because it just moisturizes it. But I mean, you know castor oil helps with hair growth. My eyelashes are already long, but nothing wrong with longer, moisturized, extended lashes, if you know what I mean. These are how the lashes are. Mm -hmm. I decided to add something to my site, thetrueaura.com. So now you guys have a choice to choose between the unscented shea butter, which is the original shea butter that I started off selling, still selling. Now you guys have an option to choose between the shea butter that has jasmine essential oil scent or the shea butter that has the lemon essential oil scent. And you guys can check my website to see the benefits of both jasmine and lemon. Make sure that when you order the lemon that you test out on your skin first and your hair because lemon is a part of the citrus family and it can cause sensitivity in the sun and we don't want anybody to get rashes you know so just test it out before you use it everybody's skin and hair is different um i would recommend using if you get the lemon essential one make sure that you mainly use it for nighttime use it after you exfoliate because you know lemon also helps with dark spots evening out skin tone jasmine does the same thing they both have the same benefits just different scents basically and even with jasmine even wearing it as like a perfume like the oil itself but even the scent itself like you're just gonna smell good so your face is gonna smell good because it's in the shea butter and you're getting all the nutrients all the moisturization the protection you can put it on your scalp have a clean scalp it helps with anybody that has oily hair or dry hair it's just great and then you just feel relaxed because of the scent and then if you use lemon you just feel refreshed it's freaking amazing so make sure you guys check out my site to get into it and i tested it both out on my skin my skin is different from a lot of people's so it doesn't break me out but I'm not going to use too much of the lemon. I'll use the lemon essential oil kind. Mainly on like my body. Less on my face. Probably just use the regular unscented shea butter on my face. And I only say that because I don't have any skin problems on my face specifically. So that's why I can use the unscented one. Because I don't have to do anything extra on my face. And I'm just doing this because I saw on TikTok that they said that if you do your face like this keeps your face lifted so it's when people get those like crystal rollers or whatever shea butter actually is really good on the feet this new thing that i like to do before i leave the house i like to spray my clothes and myself with florida water and i just put it in this spray bottle this travel spray bottle that i got at walmart it came in a pack of other travel size bottle containers so yeah you have to like dilute the Florida water, if you're going to use it for certain purposes, so if you're going to spray it on yourself and spray it on your clothes, you want to dilute it with spring water. And it's just really good and it's really cleansing and it's protecting. I'm not going to show too much cleavage because I still want to be mysterious but cute at the same time. So a change of plans. I did go to the nail salon, but it was a little bit of a wait. So I came next door to the body bright place i believe the company is called so i decided to go ahead and do my free laser hair removal consultation so that i can go ahead and get my treatment tomorrow since i do have to go to the booty club so she said i can record so i'm gonna show you guys how all this works i'm excited that's really cool is that is that uh what language is that it's an arabic really yeah so are you uh do you know arabic no, funny story, I had a crush on this guy in high school, and he's Muslim, oh, okay. so I wanted to, like, basically study his culture, yeah. and I was like, oh, I like Arabic, I want to get a tattoo. It says moon lover, because I couldn't find Selena file in Arabic. 
exfoliate. I'd exfoliate today. I was trying to see if I should just get a different scrub because the ones in the stores, I don't know if it's really yeah, doing anything. I suggest natural scrubs should do it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Does it sting or burn or anything? It doesn't have a rubber band pop or so. This is ultrasound gel, so this is just to help us glide and protect. I am so sorry. No, you're fine. These are really cool. But like, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start with the lowest. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. What'd you feel on a scale of one to ten? Zero. <laughs> I was like literally like my body was tensing up like I'm waiting. This so is two. Oh, I felt that one. You felt that one. On I a felt scale of one to ten, ten being the highest. What would it be? Six. Okay, you're fine. And I'm gonna do one last now. Oh, that's eleven. Okay. <laughs> The second level is what you're yeah. feeling throughout the whole thing. Okay. Of course, the reason you're feeling more is because you have very thick follicle. Keep that in mind. So the thicker the follicle, the more you feel. And um, also keep in mind that as you start doing more and more treatments and as the follicles start decreasing in sizes, you won't feel much. Right. Hey, you guys. So it is a little bit before 6 30 and i just made it to my set theme of the set for the artist is she's basically in these different things they have like different rooms and stuff and then the red it reminds me of the studio in charlotte that i shoot at yeah so that's the thing just be partying in these different areas with twerkers so i don't know what <laughs> i'm gonna be assisting with yet but right now we're just chilling it's just me and the other director and then the other guy that helps film. I don't know their names yet. Bear with me. I'm gonna know their position. Actually, I should just ask. That will just make. I have a question. Oh, wow, there's a step right there. What What are you guys' positions? Like, what is guys position? like cause I know London. London is, I know he's boss, but He's also like photographer, videographer, and the assistant director is what he is. It depends on the job. Like London's my line producer. He's my producer. Line. And what are you? Producer director. You're producer director, and what are you? I'm a cinematographer. A what? Cinematographer. Cinematographer. Yeah, and DP. That and right. DP and photography. And I'm the production assistant right now. Happy about that. Yeah, I like being an assistant. <laughs> I don't see it as a job, it's a lifestyle. I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> Everything. So I'm going to be wherever I need to be at any particular moment, whether that is raising the light, behind the camera, and then the shot. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. You were a big help last time when I needed to know what those numbers were. So you were the film. Just, what do they call what you did? You were just recording. Technically speaking, it was B cam. You were a B cam. Yeah. And then he was A cam. Mm -hmm. Kasu is first in DP. Uh huh. I am. The reason I am everything is because I do everything. I like yeah. primarily am a director and producer, mm -hmm. but um, I am one of the owners of one of the companies. Yeah. So a lot of equipment and stuff like that I'm bringing. So. How did you get a, into that? Um, I've been doing this for like over ten years. Oh yeah, you did tell me that because I was like, you don't look like you've been. You look like you're twenty five. Yeah, I'm a little bit older, but I've been doing this for a minute. Yeah. How much is equipment? Like, where do you even find the equipment? Like, do you have a vendor in Europe or something where you guys like get cameras and stuff from? I am the plug. You're the plug. I'm the cinema plug. If you want some high end. Equipment, you go through me. I, can, I go through you. I, can source, I source okay. any and everything, but that's one of the things that I do for like larger production companies and studios and stuff. Yeah. Like I design their shoots, I design their studios and sound stages and stuff, mm -hmm. and then I put together these like proposals, whether it's you know hundred thousand dollars, half a million, a few million, and I go out and source everything and bring it in and out. 
fits, you know, the trombone. I like that. I gotta show you some of that. So, I was actually over at one of my client's stages um, earlier. Yeah, this lighting is so nice. So it is almost 10.30 and still on set. I'm on the ramp right now. And yeah, I'm in good spirit still. Basically just waiting for them to finish setting up the new set. They put me on water cup duty. So I guess for this scene, there has to be water in the cups. So that's what I'm doing now. So at least it's something for me. To do you know being a production assistant look it's a private jet <laughs> these are the vibes that i'm attracting into my life <laughs> literally a jet okay so it's almost midnight and i am at a hotel just finished with the shoot 222 if you guys see me in that video just know that i was not expecting to have to be an extra and play a party goer i was so like i wasn't prepared as far as like oh i'm dressed for the part like i know that i have a part and more so like i was just thrown in but my sister's b-day is literally at midnight august 4th so i'm here to see her so that's why we are at this hotel Happy Amen. born day, sister. I love you. <laughs> love you. Love you. I don't even like alcohol. Yeah, she don't drink I do other stuff. You gonna be asleep? Hey, you guys. So it is currently one twenty nine, and I have successfully and safely made it back home. I'm so tired, and I'm just ready to snack on my strawberries and peanut butter don't hate on it if you've never tried it it actually tastes really good how i ended up eating strawberries and peanut butter i used to have a phobia of peanut butter and the way i got over it was by eating it with my favorite fruit true story today was very successful and it was a pretty busy day and I'm proud of myself for not being afraid to have to be an extra. And, you know, it was just a vibe. I feel in a very natural, neutral state in my life right now to where everything that's happening is happening because it's supposed to. And I'm just resting as the observer and enjoying all of the abundance. So, yeah, it was nice to see my sister just to... um check on her for a little bit before coming back here i pray that you guys enjoyed this vloggy vlog make sure that you subscribe to stay tuned for more videos from your favorite youtuber and until next time my lovelies bye